The alien sky bled a bruised purple as Leo stumbled out of his ship. Two suns, one a fiery orange, the other a cool, bruised blue, hung low in the horizon. Strange, spindly flora, a mix of bioluminescent greens and purples, pulsed around him, casting an eerie glow. This wasn't Earth. This was Kepler, 186F, humanity's first attempt at interstellar colonization. Except, something felt, off. The gravity seemed a little too familiar, the air a little too breathable. As Leo adjusted his helmet calm, a voice crackled through. Captain, life signs detected. Multiple bipedal lifeforms approaching. Adrenaline surged. First contact. He gripped his energy rifle, a weapon designed for an alien encounter. He crept towards the approaching figures, their forms shifting in the twilight. They were humanoid, but taller and slenderer than humans, with smooth, iridescent skin. Their elongated limbs ended in three-fingered hands. The lead alien stopped, its large, slanted eyes gleaming. It spoke in a series of clicks and whistles, utterly alien. Leo, his heart hammering, activated his universal translator. It sputtered for a moment, then a voice filled his helmet. Greetings, traveler from the stars. We come in peace. Relief washed over him. He lowered his weapon, attempting a smile through his visor. Greetings. I am Captain Leo Davidson of Earth. We come in peace as well. The clicks and whistles resumed. The translator buzzed, they welcome you to their world, Xylos. Leo spent the next few hours cautiously interacting with the Xylosians. They were peaceful herbivores, living in bioluminescent, crystalline structures. He learned about their culture, their history, their fear of a neighboring, more aggressive species. As the suns began to set, casting long shadows, a sudden wave of dizziness washed over Leo. He stumbled, his vision blurring. Panic flared. Was it an alien disease? An Xylosian weapon? Then, with a sickening lurch, the world dissolved. Leo blinked, his head pounding. The familiar white of his apartment ceiling swam into focus. He was sprawled on the floor, his VR headset dangling from his neck. The sons of Xylos were a faded poster on his wall. Disappointment gnawed at him. It had all felt so real. Then, his gaze landed on the news ticker scrolling across his TV screen. First crewed mission to Kepler, 186F suffers technical malfunction. Launch aborted. Crew safe. His heart skipped a beat. Technical malfunction. Aborted launch? He hadn't known. Had the VR simulation somehow synced with the news, feeding him the launch news as part of the experience? A bitter laugh escaped his lips. He'd spent hours exploring a fantastical alien world, only to realize he was still in his apartment, a victim of an overly immersive VR experience. He sighed, the disappointment heavy in his chest. But then, a thought struck him. He picked up the VR headset, a strange warmth blooming in his chest. Maybe he hadn't landed on Xylos, but a seed had been planted. A seed of exploration, of a yearning for the stars. And who knew, maybe someday, the dream of Kepler, 186F wouldn't be a VR simulation, but a reality.